Hello everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. Welcome to our Pistachio Riot. This is an absolutely ridiculous yarn. It is a part of our February Spinner Surprise Box. If you're interested in getting your hands on this fiber, you get three ounces of it shipped to you. Go to RazzleDazzleRabbitry.com. So, what you're watching right here is spinning from roll eggs or punis. So it's, they're not traditional roll eggs, they're not traditional punis, they're kind of a blend. I used a blending board to make this fiber, put this fiber together. And as you can see, I'm spinning this thick and thin. Now, the movement of my hands and the movement of the fiber, you're watching it and you can see thicker sections and thin sections, but it's really a drafting and a pulling of the yarn. This is an extremely, extremely fast yarn to spin. It's definitely something that, if you, if you want a yarn that spins up fast and it's really fun, if you want something that you can make in just a couple hours from start to finish, raw fiber to completed yarn, this is the yarn for you. It is something that for both beginners and experienced spinners, this is something that is really enjoyable, really fun, really rewarding to spin. So why on earth would I say it's good for both beginner and experienced spinners? Well, typically beginner spinners don't start out spinning perfectly consistent yarn and that is totally okay. The yarn a beginning spinner might spin might naturally be thick in spots and thinner in others. This is just a part of learning out how to spin. This is perfectly okay. So it's perfect for a beginner because if that's how you're spinning, a little bit thick, a little bit thin, that's what this yarn needs. It needs you to make that to spin it. Now I'm joining on another um, roll egg here, if I can pick one out. There's fiber everywhere, as you can see in the video, on the couch, on um, my pants, on my shirt, on the floor. It is literally just everywhere, but that's part of just having uh, a fiber arts spinning wheel in your living room. Anyways, so why is this yarn good for people who have had experience? Well, let me tell you why. When you've been spinning for a while, if you have been spinning consistent yarn, if you've been spinning traditional consistent yarn, your hands have muscle memory and your hands are used to spinning the yarn that way. So when you stop and when you ask your hands to spin yarn a different way, which is not consistent, which is thick and thin, what you're doing is you're giving yourself a little bit of a challenge. You're giving your hands a little bit of a challenge. The challenge is to resist the urge to spin it consistently. And I promise you, after you've been spinning yarn um, consistently for a while, and then you try to do something like this, this is a very different way of spinning, and your hands will feel it. Your hands will know. You will know this is different. So we're spinning this up. And what I was doing before when I was separating out, separating out these roll eggs is I was separating out, I had all three ounces together in a pile and I was just separating them out together into three separate one ounce piles. So you can tell I didn't use a scale, that's okay. For this yarn, this will be just fine because we are going to spin these up. We spin the single like this, we keep going and then, you know, the next video, what you're going to see is that there's a spiral plying. Well, the spiral plying is pretty unique in this yarn because the yarn that I'm actually making in that, if you want to follow along and get the fiber yourself and make this yourself, the yarn is six, a six ply spiral ply yarn. That's not like six plies and then a spiral, that's six different singles, six singles of spiral plied yarn, six spiral plied singles plied together. Now, there's a way that I do this. It's not as simple as 
taking six separate strands and then plying them together. Because the finished yarn, which was um, a picture at the beginning of this video, the finished yarn has a very particular look. And I want this yarn, this is not a yarn where everything is just put together. This is a yarn, when you think about it, and you're gonna see this in some of the next videos, you're spinning it in one direction, plying it in another, then you uh, ply that in another direction, then you ply that in another direction. So it's this amazing mix of yarn in multiple different directions. And so to me, it was enjoyable because at one point, and in the videos you might see me hesitate because I'm hesitating and I'm trying to figure out, wait a minute, which way did I just ply this and now which is the way that I have to ply this instead. And there's some tips and tricks I can tell you about for the actual plying. So let's go over the type of fiber that this is in the first place. So if you watch the video, the Pistachio Riot video, it was kind of a visually crazy video. It was really fast. And that was just part of the fun of it is that, you know what? I don't normally do that with videos. Let's just do it. Let's just make it fun. So the Pistachio Riot fiber in the Spinner Surprise Box. And if you want, you can easily, if you have this fiber or if you want to purchase fiber from someplace else and make this, you can do that too for sure. You just don't, you don't have to buy my fiber. You can use whatever fiber you want. This is how you make it. So there is a heathered lime green type of fiber. This fiber is actually a mix of silk bits and um, it is like a bamboo merino wool type mix. So that's the green type of fiber that you find. And it comes in a roving and um, it is definitely a silky fiber. Whenever I have worked with the bamboos and the silks, you, it really feels different in your hands and you'll notice it. So that's the speckled or heathered green. So then the next fiber that we have, of course, is Angora. Like a whitish, light cream type of Angora fiber. That's another one where when you're spinning it in this mix, you know when you hit the Angora. The Angora just feels completely different. It's just very, very different. What I found when I was spinning this um, this was easy to spin this way, thick and thin, but I actually had a hard time uh, spinning this fiber in a traditional yarn because the first thing I did with this fiber is I tried spinning it into a traditional single. Well, when I got to the green, it really wanted to pull apart. So another fiber that you have is a, um, there's, it's called like fairy tale. And this is actually a fiber you can purchase at uh, Paradise Fibers. So you can go online and they have this blend and it's like these, this um, glitzy, sparkly pinks and light blues and a little bit of purple type of fiber. And then um, you have also, there's like a pink, a really hot pink merino. That is also a roving that is, um, that you can purchase from Paradise Fibers. The Angora is from, uh, it's from my, my bunnies. So another thing you have in there is like this amazing merino blend and it is whites, navy blues, oranges in there, hot pink, all these incredible colors, but that's just a merino blend. Then there is the um, there's like this white, if, if you get this box, you'll see it. So there's this like white fiber and it's kind of heavy. It has like no memory. When you pick it up, you know, like this is different. That is, um, like a bamboo type of fiber that is, it's really just a different sort of fiber. And when you get to that fiber, it feels just super different and it is. It's different than your merinos, it's different than your angoras, it's, it feels much more straight. It's a plant fiber, right? So we have also in this incredible mix, there is the, um, there's a hand, there's a hand dyed bit of roving and 
It is like just a bunch of mixes of sheep wool. And it's super fun to have. It's super fun to have in your mix. It is um, just really an entire blend of fibers, something that is, I find incredibly enjoyable. So I think that's all seven of them. Also, in your kit, when you get it, what you're gonna need, um, if you don't buy the kit, if you just wanna get this yourself, what you're gonna need to make this yarn is you're going to need some, um, let's see here, what is it called? Some fight, some, it's like gold thread, and I don't have any with me while I'm making this video, but it's super fun, gold thread, and um, we use it to ply, and there's, there's a certain type of thread that I use to ply because I've plied and made spiral yarn and like art yarn and bobble yarn with a, a lot of different types of yarn. And I found that some of these yarns are better for plying than others for different fibers. So for, for the yarn, uh, for the thread that I use for this yarn, let's say it right here, for the thread that I use for this yarn, it is, it has, it doesn't have a ton of grip on it, but it's also not super slippery because sometimes you'll find different threads are really, really slippery, and sometimes you'll find some of the threads are really, really grippy. Like they, your wool and your fibers just totally grip the thread. And it's neither of those. This, it's a nice little blend in between. So uh, just a pretty good blend on the spectrum. So right now we have the last roll egg in this video. The last, absolute last roll egg for this ounce that we are gonna spin in the thick and thin section. It is definitely something that, like I said, it goes really fast. So this, this entire video, including the sorting out of the roll eggs into three separate piles, this video is 14 minutes and 45 seconds. That's 14 minutes and 45 seconds to spin one ounce of wool into yarn, one ounce of fiber into yarn. That's pretty good. So we're getting towards the end. Hopefully uh, this is something that you feel inspired to start doing. If you're a beginning spinner, don't worry. It is totally okay if your yarn is not consistent. This is something that if you're naturally spinning thick and thin, this is something that you can do. You're going to be able to create this yarn, this beautiful art yarn. And um, like I said, the, the yarn itself is just, a, it's really a joy to make. It's fast. It's rewarding to make it fast. You get to see the fruits of your labor incredibly fast. And really in the end, we live, these are just my thoughts, but we live in a world um, in a culture where I live, around where I live, and I live in the United States, that there are many screens. And of course you're watching this on a screen or maybe you're just listening to it. But sometimes in life, we want something that we can feel. We want something that is genuine. We want something that is authentic. And the truth is screens can leave us feeling pretty empty. They can leave us feeling like, okay, what do I have to show for my efforts? But yarn, never does that. Spinning never does that. Spinning never leaves you feeling like, what have I done? Spinning always leaves you with evidence of your success, evidence of your efforts, evidence of what you have done with your time. And if you're somebody who has been feeling like, you know what, um, I'm interested in more in life and I sit and spend a lot of my time in front of a screen, whether it's a computer, tablet, cell phone, um, TV, whatever it is. If you're somebody who is searching for something real, if you're searching for something that is genuine, something authentic, then this is something that um, I would encourage you to try. And at a bare minimum, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with borrowing somebody's wheel and trying it out. But thank you guys very much for getting towards the end of spinning. I appreciate you watching on this video. I hope you try this yourself. If you do try it, feel free to send me an email, razzledazzlerabbitry at outlook.com. Let me see the results of your yarn and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you.